So I do have a little friend down there, Carrie, but she is supposed to stay in her bed. And of course, the moment I start talking, she gets up. So let's try this again. It's your girl Anna and in today's video I am finally going to do the video that I have mentioned a couple times my hair extension video so this is going to be a highlight bubble recap so if you aren't familiar with my other ones I've only done a few but if you go on to my Instagram at Anna C Watson you will see all my highlight bubbles and if you scroll through quite a few of them. I have one called hair extensions. So today I'm going to be like recapping basically that highlight bubble. So if you've already seen it, then you probably don't need to watch this video, but I want to do this for the YouTube uh, community because not everybody follows me on Instagram. The hair extensions that I'm going to be talking about are called fancy hair. They come in a box like this. So I'm gonna talk about the business side of them and like that. If you're not interested in that and just want to like know how to put extensions in, then fast forward a little bit. I used to have really short hair. Um, I don't anymore because I've been hair training. If you have watched my other videos, I talk about that. So I go longer in between washing my hair and I learned everything that I know from growing out my hair from a woman on Instagram called Jasmine Ray Hair Co. So if you want to learn more about that, I recommend following her. She has all of her stuff in her highlight bubbles, but I used to have short hair. So I bought these hair extensions in 2018. So while I am talking, I will post pictures of like me with short hair and when I first got the extensions and things like that because I researched hair extensions for a long long time before landing on these and they are extremely high quality they are made out of 100% Remy human hair which if you don't know anything about hair extensions that's pretty much like the best quality of hair. You don't want synthetic hair and you don't want animal hair in your hair extensions because they don't style the same way. And I looked through their website yesterday to refresh myself on their company and they do have a little like video on their website. So I highly recommend watching that if you want to get like the background story about their company. The CEO is a woman named Nikki Sky and I follow her on Instagram and she is such an amazing like business owner and entrepreneur and she is a recent mama uh, she has a little girl named Ari and she's super cute so I love following her um, she doesn't really talk about the hair extensions much uh, but it is her company I do want to give you a little bit of the highlights if you don't want to you know go all the way to the the website quite yet but the website is called getfancyhair.com and they have three different options of hair extensions so it's by weight so there's a 120 grams, that's the one that I have, and that is for finer, thin hair. And then they have a 160 grams, and that's for medium hair. And then they have 240 grams, and that is for thicker hair. But what's really nice about these hair extensions, I'll get them out of the box and show you. The weight depends on like how many wefts you get because obviously if you have thinner hair you don't need as many wefts with these hair extensions is that they are thick from top to bottom so let me just show you one of the wefts obviously i have had mine for two years so keep that in mind if you can tell like they don't really like get thinner necessarily like if you've seen other extensions like it's super thick like the first few inches and then it thins out but this is like not like that as far as quality goes it says that these will last four to twelve months if you wear them every day i do not wear mine every day i probably i actually haven't even worn these like 
probably since I made my highlight bubble, which uh, I just did the Instagram story and it tells you like how long ago and it was like 30 weeks ago. So I haven't really worn these since then because my hair is long. So I don't need them necessarily for length anymore, but I do use them to add thickness to my hair because my hair is extremely thin. Another a uh, couple like just things about the hair extensions. So they can be washed and styled and everything just like your natural hair, which is why I love these hair extensions because like I said, you don't want synthetic hair because they won't do what you want basically. Just trust me on that. But they said if you don't wear your hair extensions every day so like i don't then they can last you a few years which is why i've had these hair extensions for two over two years now and like they are a little bit like at the bottoms getting uh, not the best but they're still really really high quality and i still wear them and i've taken really good care of them about color because a lot of the times what you see on the computer screen as far as the color goes is not actually what the color of the extensions is because you know monitors they do color differently and anyway so they have color swatches so that's what i did when i first got my hair extensions so you get up to four color swatches so you choose which ones you think would match your hair and then you buy them but they send you the color swatches and they put what you bought as like a gift card so if you do end up purchasing the extensions then they end up being free so if you don't purchase the extensions yes you bought them but if you end up purchasing them it just goes towards your purchase of the extensions that's what i did you take the little swatch and you you know match it to your hair and when I first got these, I didn't have highlights in. And then one thing that I was nervous about when I first got, um, started re-highlighting my hair is that the extensions wouldn't match anymore. But that's the really great thing about these extensions is no matter what like kind of tone, it still will match. So I do have, you know, they're kind of fading right now. So you can kind of see like where my highlights start. So I do need to get a touch up. I just messaged my hairstylist and just waiting for her to get back to me. So I do want to go darker uh, since it is winter. I kind of want to try to do that like darker in the winter and lighter like in the spring summer. So we'll see how that goes. So I will show you obviously my hair right now before I put the extensions in and then I will be showing you how I put them in and we will be curling them today and styling them. Anyway, get your color swatch, match it perfectly and they do have a wide range of colors which is really nice and then it comes in this little box and what's really nice about this is they have this tester weft. So when you get your box then you take the tester weft, match it to your hair, and then make sure that it's still the right color. And this is a separate compartment because once this seal is broken, you cannot return the extensions. But for whatever reason, if you get your tester weft and you're like, no, this doesn't work, I need a different color, which shouldn't happen if you use the color swatch, but if for whatever reason that does happen, you can return the extensions as long as the seal isn't broken. So I got the color Milk Chocolate Brown, and like I said, it matches perfectly as you will see in a few minutes. That is pretty much it as far as my little spiel about fancy hair goes. I think that they are an amazing company. I have used extensions off of Amazon before, and my first pair of hair extensions were actually from my cousin. She let me borrow them for prom senior year of high school, so I will put a picture of that here as well. And she ended up letting me keep them because she didn't need them, so they were, you know, I don't know how long she had them before I got them, but I did wear those for like a long time. I'll post some other pictures of me wearing them and looking back, I'm like, you should have just not 
but it's fine. Anyway, let's get into how I put these extensions in. Personally, I do not style my hair extensions before I put them in. I know some people do, and I've tried doing that before where you curl them, you pre-curl them and then put them in your hair. And like, that just doesn't make sense to me because you want the curls to flow with your own hair. So anyway, oh, I should probably show you how many I get in the 120 gram. At least that's the kind that you want. So I have four one clip wefts. I believe one of these is like the tester weft. So obviously like you wanna keep that if you keep the extensions. These are a little bit tangled. So I usually keep all four of these in that little tester weft pocket because now that my hair is all one length and I don't have bangs or anything, I don't use these that often except for a couple times where I might need just one to make it work, but it comes with four singles, two doubles. So what I mean by singles and doubles is like how many clips there is. So two of those, one three clip weft, two four clip wefts. But with these, so I have, so this four clip left, these are closer together. And then this one, they're a little bit more spread apart. And I use these strategically as you will see put this over so again i am going to split my hair and put the rest of it up in a little clip so when i did this on instagram it actually worked out because since instagram only allows like one minute things like i could re-watch the video and then fix the extensions because sometimes like they do get a little bit like crooked. So we'll see how this goes since I am obviously doing this on YouTube and it'll be filming the entire time. But what I might end up doing is turning around and doing a voiceover because it's gonna be annoying for me to like turn around and talk and stuff. I use my boar bristle brush and you will also need a comb because you're gonna need a tease. Uh, to put the extensions in because they need something to like grab onto. So one second. So this is like a broken comb, but it's the only one that I could find. I don't know where my other one went. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and show you what I do. All right, voiceover Anna here. We are starting off with a two clip weft and please ignore my tag sticking out. Obviously, like I said, I didn't review this video before I started editing it and didn't notice until later. Anyway, you are going to tease the hair. I use the comb and the boar bristle brush. Make sure that you brush out the extensions so that there are no tangles. And then when you put it up to your hair, you're going to use that teasing section so that the clips have something to grab onto. And then you just press down and hear the click and then know that the extensions are in. Then I brush through that teased part to make sure that the hair is all not tangled. And then come in with a regular brush and brush out the rest of the hair as well. Then we're gonna take down a, another section of hair. And it's okay if the cleft is a little bit crooked, as you might have noticed. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's going to actually see them. So, put your hair up and then smooth it out first. Make sure there's no tangles and then tease. This time I'm using a four clip weft. I thought I was using the three, but I ended up using the four. Cause this is a little bit wider part of my hair. For the four clip wefts, I usually start in the middle and then work my way out to the sides. And I kind of want this to end right behind my ear. 
and it doesn't have to be super close to the hairline see how i have like about maybe an inch or so of space that's perfectly okay you just want to make sure that the extensions are all flat so you don't have any bumps And then last little section, this is gonna be like on the crown of my head. So you wanna make sure that you have enough hair left over on the top to cover this extension. And then like always, you are going to tease. You don't have to tease twice like I do. If you just use a comb, that's fine. And then I am using the other four clip weft. This is the one that's a little bit wider since this part of my head is like the widest part. And then I usually pre-measure it to see how I want it to lay because as you will see, I do use a one clip weft as well to make sure that it goes around my entire head. So there's a little space. So I just added a little one clip right there. And if it doesn't grip on, then you just gotta tease again. Because if your hair is completely smooth, then the clips don't have anything to grip onto. So that is it for as far as like the back of my hair. So I just brushed everything out, make sure that you couldn't see any of the clips and just showed you where that last little clip is and it looks pretty good. So the rest of the ones I can watch from the front. So I am going to stop doing the voiceover and continue to watch the video. Thanks. I don't have to be turned around anymore because of the rest of the clips I'm gonna be facing you. We're gonna switch back to me talking instead of the voiceover. So totally forgot to take a before, like little video of my hair before I started putting the extensions in. So sorry about that, but hopefully you've seen my hair like the way that it is if you've watched my other videos before enough to know. So sorry. Anyway, this is what I have as of right now. Extensions are a tiny bit longer. I did forget to mention that all of the extensions, no matter what gram you get, are all 20 inches. That is something good to know because if they did have a longer one, now that my hair is so long, I probably would get longer because let's see if I can. This is my real hair. See, like it's hard to tell. Yeah, this is this is my hair. And yeah, this is an extension. So it's only like maybe an inch. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I could leave it like this, which is what I said in my highlight bubble. But what I like to do is because I do kind of do a side part here. So this side of my hair usually has a little bit more. So what I will do is kind of switch my part over for a minute and I still have a three clip. Oh no, I don't want the three clip. I want a two clip because I think I used the three clip for this last time and it was a little bit too long. The two clip is like perfect. And that's another thing, like you don't have to use all of the extensions in your box like just use as many as you need to style your hair so you have the option but you don't need to use all of them so I'm gonna use the two of course do my teasing first I like to do both just to make sure that we've got a good a good tease And then I can put this one pretty close because the hair is gonna cover it. Sorry, I was like a little close to the camera there. So like that. And then we just 
flip that back over. And there you go. Because I think what happened when I did it on Instagram was because I used the three, it went a little farther and then the clip you could see right here. So hopefully you can't see that. I can't tell until I rewatch this video <laughs> while I'm editing it, but I think it feels, it feels okay. Like it's not sticking out, but anyway, so that adds a little bit more to this side of my hair and then sometimes i will add one on this side to add a little bit but because i added that one that's like right here i'm just gonna leave it so that this hair covers that and so that i don't have anything peeking through i'm just going to brush everything through again to make sure that everything is blendy blendy okay and then i don't know why my part is being like really weird today i did do a scalp treatment yesterday with my whole castor oil coconut oil shebang that i did i have a video of that so my hair is a bit soft so but i washed it last night so, because I didn't want to do it when it was just washed, because I feel like when I have a little bit of, I don't know what I'm trying to say. When it's not just washed, I feel like it does a little bit better. So let me do a little turn around for you. Scoot back so that you can see. So that is how I put in the extensions. And now I am gonna show you how I style them. Obviously my extensions, since they were curled a while back, that's why they kind of are like a little bit weird and stuff. When I use them on my Instagram, they were like freshly washed, like straight perfect extensions. And then obviously I curled them for that video. I mentioned that I don't normally wear my extensions straight but now that my hair is a little bit longer, I like it to add volume. Like I said, like look at how much more hair I have now, but I always like curling it. So we are going to use the Ronge Andelay wand again because I have used it a couple times now. So I used it in my little vlog that I am uh, just uploading and i also use it in my launch video that will be uploading soon i just want to see how it looks with the extensions and doing the like ringlet curls i mentioned i want to do that instead of the curls that i normally do i am gonna to have to switch camera views because the plugs that are on this side of the bathroom don't work i'm gonna to have to switch over to the other plug so Let's go on a little field trip. So I did add in some heat protectant while both of these are in and the curling iron is getting hot. If you haven't watched those other videos where I talk about this curling wand, it does not have a temperature gauge. So I don't know one, how hot it gets and two, when it's like as hot it's, as it's supposed to get. So. It doesn't seem too warm yet, so I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and let this dry. Apparently I have a Zoom meeting at 12 for school, which I totally forgot about. It's like 11.30, so at least I'll have uh, pretty hair. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a makeup look as well, so make sure you check out that video next. And Let's get into this curling, I guess. What I normally do when I curl my hair is I just split in half. I start at the back and work my way forward. But like I said, I'm doing a different type of curl. So 
what I want to do this time is, so I'm gonna take the barrel, I always point it down, and this time I'm gonna lay it flat. So the whole thing is flat on the barrel. And I'm gonna do it like opposite ways. So this one is away from my face. So the next one will be towards my face, away from my face. That way the curls like won't really blend together as much. But yeah, they turn into these little ringlets. And look how pretty they are. And then I just throw it. Oh my gosh, my tag is shaking. Hold on. Was that sticking out the entire time that I was showing you guys the extensions? Because that's super embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, okay, now I like totally lost. I lost it. What? Oh, this is not good, you guys. Is this the one that I just curled? What is happening? Okay, well, I don't know what just happened, so we're gonna try this again, I guess. That was so weird. Because it should not have fallen already. <sighs> I'm nervous now. Okay, so then this one, I'm gonna put the barrel on this side. This is hard to do. And then wrap it. I, ah, okay. That didn't work. Oh my gosh, this is the worst curling video ever. I'm so sorry. I haven't curled my hair like this in so long. So like I, my muscle memory is not there. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. So I will time lapse the rest of this now, unless I have something to show you. to see how this turns out like blended and everything oh, so cute and of course the whole time that this has been time lapse Carrie has been an angel and not doing anything so it's like the minute that I talk then she's like wants to all do all the things so anyway this side of my hair since it's the side that has more usually takes a little bit longer so Was that the first one that I curled? Did it get moved to the other side? And I didn't notice? That's probably what happened. So I'm gonna bring that forward. Okay, let's get going again.
timing. I have five minutes left to figure out this Zoom meeting. I thought that we were over Zoom meetings, but here we are. Anyway, I, if you guys have seen any of my other curling videos anyway, I like to let my curls like sit and cool and completely rest for a little bit before I blend it out, especially since these are like the ringlet curls. Honestly, like, you know, some people do leave it like this. I personally don't because I think it looks weird and I need to blend it, but this is what it looks like right now. Super pretty. Obviously, when you curl your hair, it like shrinks a little bit because, you know, it's curl. But super cute. Hopefully, I don't have to turn my camera on for this meeting because I'm just gonna, gonna see my voluminous curls here. But anyway, I will come back and blend and everything after my meeting. So be right back. My meeting is over. So Hair's just been chilling like this, but I'm going to use my oil and lightly blend it and kind of fix this flyaway situation that is happening up here and make sure everything is blended. So it might be a little like crazy at first. So here we go. to see the back but I think it looks good it's a little bit crazy but it's all right there we are with our blended extensions pretty so because of the way that I did it they shouldn't really like blend together so I think that's why it's a little bit crazy but I just wanted to see how it would turn out There you have it, with the extensions. So, like I said, once I get my hair redone, I want to see how the extensions blend with darker hair, and then maybe I will curl it a different way and see which way that I like it better. But I still think that it is super pretty, falling over. So yeah, I am done filming all of the YouTube videos today that I am able to film because most of the other ones I'm still waiting on items. And so I figured I would show you guys how to remove my extensions as well, or how I remove my extensions. So if any of my friends are watching this video that have known me for a long time when I wear my extensions, I have a bad habit of like ripping them out of my hair. I do not want to do that, so I wanted to show you guys how I take them out. I have obviously been wearing them the majority of the day. It is still light out. I haven't been wearing them for that long, honestly, but I actually don't really like the way that the curls turned out. I think I'm so used to like it blending together that I don't really like it not blending together this time, which is so funny because that's like why I curled it this way is because I didn't want it to blend together. I don't know. It looks, it looks pretty in certain ways. Like it looks pretty when I have it like to one side, but when I split it like this, because of these like in the front, because these are my natural curls that don't want to stay, then 
like I feel like this side looks better than this side so anyway I'll make another video of a different curl method and share that one so if uh, you're watching I might have another video about my extensions at some point so anyway what I'm gonna do first is brush all of this out because I want to make sure that there are no tangles because if they're tangled together and then I try and remove them it's gonna be a bad time so and like see how they're just like completely falling apart this is why I don't brush these types of curls because then they just fall away so okay I'm going to brush back here you can like hear when it's not smooth like you can hear it in the brush okay so that seems pretty good and then I basically remove them like the opposite way that I put them in so I started down here and worked my way up so when I take them out I start with these top pieces and then they just unclip unclip and then you just take them out they might be a little frizzy and stacky but there you have it and then like I put one right there so we just unclip it take it out so I'm gonna do that and just time lapse it to show you guys in the back all right so it is a little bit staticky but since I didn't take a before video, I will show you what it looks like now. So, I mean, you can obviously like, you can tell that I, you know, curled it. There's some wave it probably will disappear by tomorrow but you can definitely tell how much thinner my hair is without the extensions in so anyway so these were all the extensions that were in my hair it pretty much like doubles the amount of hair there you have it and then i will just lightly like twirl these and store them in the box that they came in so they stay nice and protected and I will use them in my next video so also with these extensions I only need to wash these like every 10 to 20 wears and since I washed them the last time that I put them in which was like 30 weeks ago I'm not gonna wash them again, but when I curl them, they will still curl and they are changeable. So it's not like, I mean, it is human hair, so you can, you know, change the curl, but like, it'll make sense when I do it a different way. I'll show you guys how, you know, it looks now. So this is how some people like style their extensions beforehand. So you could curl these beforehand and then put them in and it might work. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed. And I already did my outro. So that's how I take my extensions out. <laughs> Everyone and welcome back to my channel. No, what can we? Bed, bed, stay, sit, good girl.
Carry it. Bang. If you can't behave, you're going to go on your crate, okay? You need to stay in your bed. Good girl. There's probably going to be a lot of bloopers about Carrie at the end of this. <laughs> I just realized that I totally forgot. What was that? Anyway, I totally forgot that Okay, so I, yeah, there's a weird noise. It's okay, Harry. Okay, so I, t I came back, it's okay. You didn't steal. Go back. I'm kind of nervous. Get back to your bed. Bed. No, bed. Good girl. I swear, every time I start talking, she has to move and be <sighs> frustrating. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, stay tuned and watch my makeup that I am about to do. I just got a box from Tarte and I am really excited to try the products out because I've only had their mascara and I haven't tried anything else from them before and they were doing like a a box set. Anyway, I'll get into all of that in the video. So if you want to check that out next, please give it a click over here <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys over in that video or any other video that you want to check out on my channel. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.